All right, so when it comes to traveling on the go, you gotta have a reliable laptop, one that can, you can just count on. It, does, it has long battery life, uh, good performance, and good color because if you're a photographer or you work with video, you kinda wanna make sure that all that looks good, right? So in this video, that's what we're gonna talk about. So here it is, this is the Dell 9570. I've had my hands on this uh, for about a couple months and I've had it with me on the go uh, here at home. I've been really using this for photography uh, as well as video uh, with my Sony cam, the a7 III. Now keep in mind, this is not an in-depth review video. This is more of just an overview of my thoughts about this as a videographer and photographer on the go and how it handles with its performance. Now spec-wise, I got the i7 version six core processor it's a 16 gigabyte ram with 256 gigabyte ssd and the ports on this yes it's an acmi you have two usb 3.0s you have a usb type c which also handles as a thunderbolt 3 port headphone jack now with the macbook pro i don't like carrying a dongle and with this laptop i love the fact that it does have an sd card reader especially when i because i primarily use my a7 III with this computer and to take the card out of my camera right into the computer i just love bypassing a dongle if i can help it now for the screen, I was gonna go for the 4K display, but I opted to go for the 1080 in 4 HD because uh, you just get better battery life. And I had the 4K before and with a touch screen, and even though it was a great screen, I loved it. It's not my primary computer, uh, so I wanted something more efficient in terms of more battery life. But the display on this is still very good and is not as glossy as a 4K one. This thing is a beauty to work with because when I travel, I take my Peak Design bag, I put my a7 III camera with the lenses inside, and I pop this laptop inside with it, and that's basically my travel package. That's what I use. This came in really handy because, again, I paired it with my a7 III, and I was up north with my family for Thanksgiving weekend, and I was able to capture a lot of slow motion of the kids uh, on the four-wheeler, just having a great time outside because it actually snowed up there. And which I was hoping for because I wanted to go sledding and there was parts of, of the day that you know We actually were building a snowman, which I don't think I captured but it was just a great family fun uh, Trip and I didn't capture as much as I wanted but I did capture a lot and I was able to use this computer uh, To actually really edit all my footage whether it was 4k or 1080 slow down and it was a dream to work with I loved it and for photography I've actually used this on the go with my girl doing photo shoots and again importing the raw footage and editing it and color grading it it just it, it handles it with a breeze there's no slowdowns on my end whether it's plugged in or not now if you have the 9560 and you're looking to upgrade to 9570 uh, just on a real world performance on the go there is a difference when using premiere pro i feel that this is snappier exports faster uh there's less stutter um, and that's using 4K files. 1080, not really even using a difference. And you can also sneak around by using a sequence that's 1080 and going back to 4K when you, before you export. Um, but those are just workarounds if you have a slow computer. And when it comes to gaming, gaming on this, you gotta game on the go, especially if you have a PC. And uh, with the 1050 Ti card, it really didn't disappoint too much. Playing with PUBG, playing Fortnite, uh, playing other games on this computer, uh, yes, I, I'm used to going to ultra settings or having high custom settings, um, but I really found a sweet spot being medium, but it performed rather well, a lot better than the 9560, especially with PUBG. Uh, I got a pretty good solid frame rate of over 50 frames per second. So if you're a gamer, you want to do photography, videography, but also game on your downtime, woo, it will not disappoint. But my thoughts on the 9570 is if you're if you're a photographer or videographer on the go uh, and you're a PC user, I mean, from the size to the performance uh, to the screen is so freaking crisp and I, lo I love the colors on it. I love it. And I just want to share this with you just in case you're out there, you're looking for a laptop that you want to use uh, that's still a PC and has an SD card reader and still has the, uh, the input that you can use uh, for other devices. I mean, this is a great laptop on the go. But that's it for me, guys. I hope you guys like this video. Uh, and besides that, I'll catch you guys in the next one.